In addition to the reports that we have under the Reports tab on the main menu of Forms Boss Plus, you can also create your own reports through the Management tab by going to this Report Designer feature. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a couple of different kinds of reports. This report designer has many, many different features and lots of flexibility, um, which we don't have time to go into in a single tutorial, but um, I did want to just show you uh, that it's here and give you an idea of how it works. You can create a new report by either clicking on this uh, button here or by going to the File menu and getting New. For the sake of today's tutorial, I'm going to do a list style um, under the new report definition page here and click next. On the new report definition uh, screen here, main data set for report, I'm going to go here to get new and get query. This screen is where I can actually type in the programming language um, to tell this report designer where to draw my information and data from. So once I'm finished typing in that programming language, I can click OK, and then click Next. Here's where I can select what fields I want to be shown on the report that I'm creating. And the way that I would do that is just find the fields in this list, and either click on this arrow to send them over here to the fields used in report side or I can also double click on the fields to get them to go over to that side. Once I've selected all of the fields that I want, I click Next. Here you can choose which report bands you want to include on your uh, new report. I'm actually just going to leave the default here as the page header and title report bands. So I'll click Next. And I have an opportunity on this screen to give my report a title. You can also set the columns, the column spacing, and whether you want the page to be a portrait orientation or a landscape orientation. I'm going to leave those at their default settings. Here you can change the font for your report. Um, you just click here for the um, column headers and labels and click here for the font for the data fields. So it'll open up the uh, font box here and let's say I want my uh, titles to appear bold italic and to appear in a slightly larger font size. I can select those options there and click OK. And the same is true for the data fields. You can make changes there um, with the font as well. Down here you can choose to add lines to your report. Um, I'm going to actually choose all three of these. You'll see as I click them that the example appears over here on the side of what those lines will look like on my report. So I'm going to make it look a little more chart-like by selecting all three types of lines and then click Next. So it has created the report for me. Um, we want to actually look at what the report itself looks like. So we can either click on this preview button here to see the report, or we can click Finish and then go up here to select the Show Preview button. So here's my report that I have created. You'll notice um, perhaps when you first open the report that it doesn't show all the lines that you told it to show. That's actually just because it's not zoomed in far enough to see them, but if you zoom in all the way, you'll see that those lines are there. It just sometimes can't display them when you're too far zoomed out. 
Um, so you'll see that it has created this report exactly with the information that I told it to. And from here I can do several different things. I would be able to navigate uh, to different pages of a report if this was more than one page with these green and blue arrows. Again, I showed you that zoom feature. Um, I could also open a report and save a report. Let's go ahead and save this one. You can choose several different save um, formats under this uh, pull down menu here. I'm going to leave it at the default forms boss format and just click save. And when I'm finished uh, with that report, uh, I can print it if I'd like to just by clicking here. It will pull up my print dialog box or I can just close out of it here. Let me show you how to create a, one other kind of report while we're demonstrating the report designer. I'm going to click create a new report again. It reminds me that I didn't actually save the current template for this report. So I might want to actually do that before I create another report. So I can click save. and save that template. Then I'll click create a new report and get list style again. But this time I'm going to go under this new pull down box and get table. I do want it to pull from the FB plus database and here under the table list I'm going to select that I want to do a customer table to draw from the customer uh, information within Forms Boss Plus. I'm not actually going to change any of these other fields, just click OK. And then click Next. And here I get to select which fields I want to show in my table. When I've selected all of those fields, I click Next. And again, I'm just going to leave the uh, report bands to their default settings, so I click Next again. And I'm going to give my report a title. I'm actually going to choose the landscape orientation for this report because I think it may have too many categories to fit in a portrait um, orientation. So then I'll click Next. I'm going to leave the um, fonts the same on this page, but I am going to put these lines in on the report again. Click Next again. It's the preview of that report. And you can see that it created the report with all of the different um, categories and uh, data fields that I instructed it to create. I want to show you one thing about um, this report designer feature. Um, if I close out of the preview and go back to the actual template for my report, I can change things about this template as I might want to. For example, if this uh, state field, if I wanted that to be more centered in its box, I could just click on it and then use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move it to the appropriate spot where I wanted it to show in the report. You have both the heading and the data set uh, information there that you can move um, to show wherever you want it to show. And then I can go back up here to the Show Preview button and look at what that's going to actually look like on the report. See on the preview that it moved those uh, states over to the center of their box just like I told it to on the template. So that's how you can make 
adjustments and changes on the template to affect uh, what your report actually looks like when it is prepared. So that gives you a basic rundown of the report designer feature of Forms Boss Plus. Um, you actually can do lots of different things with this report designer, and there's more information about it in the help topics file of Forms Boss. Um, so you can actually go into our help file and uh, read a lot more about um, what's available with this report designer. We also offer you the option of calling us to ask us to create a customized report for you. We do charge $75 per hour to create customized reports, but we can do that for you if you need one. Um, you can just call our tech support line and uh, let us know what you need.